Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you more amazing African hair. I'm going to be traveling to the southern tips of Angolia and the northern border of Namibia. This is where the imbalanced two women reside. Commonly known as the braided Rapunzels, their incredibly long natural braided hair reaches floor lengths. There wasn't that much information that I can find on this tribe of people, but the information that I did find, I will of course link all of my sources down below so you can do your own research. So I'm sure many of you would like to know what is their secret to growing hair as long as they did? Many ancient traditions have been passed on from generation to generation. And the Mbantu tribe was able to retain those traditions because they did not sign an agreement that was made by the German government in 1908. And as we know, for many African tribes, the way the hair is styled is a part of the tradition. As a girl passes through various stages of her life, the Mbuntu organizes ceremonies in which the girl is given particular treatments to reflect her new status. So when a girl turns 12 years old, she is given special treatments that will help her hair speed up the growth process. So at that age, the girl begins to coat her hair with a thick paste made of finely ground tree bark mixed with fat. And what this mixture does is it keeps the hair moisturized and lubricated, in turn keeping their hair from ever breaking. The young girl will live with this paste in her hair for years before it is loosened so you can actually see the visible hair. Fruit pips of the bird plum are then attached to the ends of the hair with new sinew strings. At the age of 16 is when long sinew strings then reach the ground are attached to the hair of the girl and that is when she goes through a ceremony in which she is accepted as a woman. Now seen as a woman, her hair will go through another change. A new layer of the mixture of tree bark and oil it will be once again applied to her hair. This will make her hair continue to grow longer and stronger. When she gets married, her long braids will be arranged into a headdress. By wearing the headdress, that will show that you are a married woman. Sometimes the headdress and their hair is so heavy that they have to take the ends of their hair and attach it to a rope and tie it around their forehead. The women will wear this hairstyle for several years until they have their first child. These Mbuba braids, which are actually known today to be the inspiration of what we call box braids. The origin of box braids can be tracked back 5,000 years in African culture to 3500 BC. Many believe that braids are a symbol of strength, wisdom, it reflects their identity, a cultural significance that reflects the connection to the creator, their ancestors, and the earth. The 90s ushered in styles similar to the Mbantu hairstyles popularized by celebrities such as Janet Jackson, Jada Pickett Smith, Brandy, and Beyonce Knowles. Today, these hairstyles are very prevalent in both African and African-American culture. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I should be dropping my own box braid tutorial sometime this week. So what's your favorite style you saw in today's video? Isn't it amazing how the implants of women can grow hair to their feet? If you're interested in supporting me and my channel, make sure to shop the Miriam Hansen Hair Growth Collection. I have new products such as the Black Rice Water Deep Conditioner and the Maximum Strength Hair Growth Oil. These products are only available at MiriamHampton.com. Alright, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And you can follow me on any of my social media at Miriam J. Hampton and at MH Hair Growth. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.